Arizona, which has Republican senators, Arizona, which has Republican House members, just voted for the Medicaid expansion in their state. Now, why is this important? Arizona is one of the reddest states in the union, but they just did something that is very, very socialist. I'm about to explain to you why Welcome to Socialism 101 is about to come to America in crazy, crazy waves based upon this early flare from Arizona. If this is your first time here, what I want you to do is go below and get 30 days to 2,500 so you can begin working on your side business and get the hustler's mindset, pimping your mind for success so you can become a player. All right, this is an election year. You're going to be outright lied to. You're going to see some crazy stuff. And the only things that you can count on and say is concrete is what has happened. And the people of Arizona have voted for Medicaid expansion, something that their Republican House members and the Republican Senate members have fought tooth and nail against. Right now, Trump and crew are fighting against Obamacare. Yet the people are saying, I want Obamacare, but they're like, no, 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 no. So I think this year you're going to see some really explosive developments in the voting. Right now, there's this felonious job report that the economy added 4.8 million jobs. And last month it added 2.5 million. You put those two numbers together, that's 7.2 million jobs added to the economy. Yay! But hold up, we lost 50 million, so that means 42 million people still don't have no job. How is this a sell? That's like, you know, you stick a knife in someone's side and you take it out two inches and like, you all right? Also, this is, this is going to be hyped up because this is really crucial information because this is going to factor into the next stimulus package because it looks like, well, we had 2.5 in May and now we have 4.8. And oh, oh golly gee whiz, if we have 10 million in July, all bets are off for a generous stimulus or anything that looks like universal basic income. And why do I bring this up? America across the board wants socialist policies. They want universal basic income. They want Medicaid expansion. So I feel this year for the first time in history, because people typically have voted against their own best interest and they're, they're voted against their own self-interest because it's like, I'm a Republican, I'm a Democrat. I feel this year that more people than ever are going to vote Democrat. And this is why people are hurting. It is one thing to have a concept or a political framework. As long as you have a job, your bills are paid, you're not laid on your mortgage, you're not laid on your rent. As long as things are fine, you can have the largress to have this Republican rigorous viewpoint of pulling yourself up by the bootstraps. But what if you are a Republican and you find yourself with no job, you find yourself three to four months behind on your rent, you find yourself unable to pay your car payment, you find yourself suffering, you find yourself with overdrafts of your bank account. That socialist stuff don't sound so bad when you find yourself in that position because typically this is what promotes change, pain. When people endure pain, it promotes them to change. It promotes them to have a different mindset. It promotes them to do different things. And I feel that there's a really good chance because you know, there's uh, Biden has dementia and all this other stuff. Uh, essentially, if Biden just lays low, I, th I feel that he will win 
the less that he says, the less that he puts out there, he just comes out with a tweet here and there. It's like, this is what we're going to do. You know, uh, at some point there are going to be debates against him and petty Trump, which will be hilarious because petty Trump is going to be going for gusto. Petty Trump is going to be going for the jugular. So with that, but the American people are in pain. Until this felonious job report, well, let's say we have 7.2 million, 7 million people who got their jobs back. We still have 42 million people without a job. And these 42 million people represent a really large voting block. Because one of the reasons I'm doing this video, and once again, I'm saying that America wants socialism, is the proliferation of stimulus check videos. I found two new channels that literally grew to 50, 60,000 subscribers from scratch in the matter of four weeks, just talking about stimulus check videos. And then there's a, another guy, he has a stimulus check Facebook group with updates and the comments and the Facebook groups and the overwhelming attention to these stimulus check videos. Like today, I actually started doing stimulus check videos because it's gonna be real. There will be another stimulus check, AKA a, a bribe for your vote. It's gonna be dropping probably August and you'll get your check September, October. So it'll be fresh in your mind when you go to the polls and you cast your vote. But America wants socialism. I am absolutely convinced of this because one of the things that was from my mistake was I didn't understand America. I didn't understand because, you know, from a intellectual standpoint, I knew there were poor people. I knew folks were suffering. I knew that the economy wasn't as good as people were leading you to believe. I knew this on the intellectual level, but I didn't know it on a earthy it really, cause it, it doesn't hit me. I don't feel these effects cause I'm not part of the mainstream economy. I don't have a job. I don't, I don't have these situations where I live the average American lifestyle. So this created a disconnect because I understood America from afar, but I did not understand America deeply and intimately as I do now, because I'm telling you, these stimulus check YouTubers, these stimulus check Facebook groups have revealed that America wants socialism. America wants universal basic income. America wants a check because I have read thousands of these comments. Well, all these corporations get this free money. How come I as an American can't get a check? And this is the thing because this is true. Corporate America got trillions and America got a trillion. Corporate America got trillions. The stock market is being supported by the Fed. The Fed's doing double monkey backflips all over the stock market. And these corporations and these corporate bailouts and even with the PPP loan, a lot of corporations got some money. And some of these corporations return the money. And Steve Mnuchin doesn't want to divulge the names of the corporations that got the money because people will be upset because they're like, wait a minute. How come we can have corporate welfare, but we cannot have welfare for the people? What about the people? And the people are ready. They're ready. Cause like I, I'm, I'm here to tell you what I feel is going to happen. And I may be wrong. This may not age appropriately, but I feel that the Democrats, which have been sending up flares, see the Democrats have been commuting with communicating with America by sending up smoke signals, sending up flares, hiring planes to fly their message. They've been putting out proposal after proposal after proposal. And America's like, yeah, yeah, give me that check. Give me $2,000 per month, man. Come on. I could be up here with big, you know, I get $2,000 a month. Big booty Betty gets $2,000 a month and we get $500 a month for each child. We're getting five G's and we at home. All we doing is making more babies. What? Yeah. Give me, a, give, give me a taste of that. Let me, let me see what it feels like to not have to wake up and go somewhere and every month like clockwork, 
I get a check. This is America's ready for the universal basic income. America is ready for these checks. America is ready for a socialist national policy because another thing that exposed America was this additional $600 per week um, PUA payment. Did I not predict that people would put on the nose, they put on the hair, they put on the makeup, they put on the suit, they put on the shoots and they would clown. I knew this was going to happen. And I felt that it was going to be a certain segment of America that would clown, but it's larger than a certain segment. People like, yeah, give me that check. Give me that check. I'm going to take that check. Yes, sir. And these people were getting hostile with their employers who got some of this PPP money, EDIL money, and like, hey, you can come back to work. I got money to pay you. Boo! Boo! Hiss! 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 They were upset because they were making more money sitting at home going ahead and giving Big Booty Betty the, the sausage than they were going out and working. And this just exposed America because we have this pandemic, we have this corona, the corona is running around, and we're going to see some more strange stuff because you know now, now that I started doing stimulus check updates, I have a lot to report about because each week there's gonna be something new. Um, one of the things that no one's really talking about and ESPN is about to lose it is college football has already been impacted by the Rona. You know, go ahead and do some search, hit the Google machine and check out University of Alabama, LSU. A lot of these fo football programs have had practices and they've had multiple players get the Rona. Now, I want you to understand what's going to happen to an Alabama or an LSU or a Clemson if their star players get the Rona. They're going to lose for two to three weeks or however long it takes this kid to get back. So college football is going to be impacted by the Rona, whether they play or not. And NFL football is going to be impacted by the Rona because of the players, you know, all it takes, because there are many teams that if two or three key players get sick, just go ahead and put an L in the column because they're going to take an L. So we're going to see some craziness with college football, baseball's trying to come back. You know, right now it would be baseball season right now. It's trying to come back, but America's ready. America's like ready and also once this is this is something else in exchange for this money you're going to give up privacy you're going to give up civil liberties big brother will be watching you I you know once again I'm even going to start talking about cryptocurrency on savage finance because I feel that this wave of ushering in socialism is going to create a need for digital money because this way that all transactions can be tracked. See, when you show up with a bag of cash, you can't track that cash. But with cryptocurrency, you can track that all day long. So expect counter and surveillance levels to increase. Expect even more erosion of privacy. Expect the, emer the emergence of a strong cryptocurrency. I don't think it's going to be Bitcoin. You know, Bitcoin, it goes up, Bitcoin goes down, but there's going to be the introduction of a new cryptocurrency that everyone's going to be using and they're going to dig. And I would not be surprised if your $2,000 a month universal basic income payment is coming from the cryptocurrency. So we're, you know, the next 12 months, we're going to see massive, massive change. We're going to see a, an adoption because right now the politicians like the GOP, they were like, no, we're not doing no more stimulus checks. No, 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 no. 
then Trump got a taste of America. America like, dear Donald, we want those stimulus checks. Dear Donald, we want those payments. We want socialist policies. And if Arizona is a indication of what's to come, because Arizona is a red, red, red state. And they went blue on the voting for the Medicaid expansion. They went blue as they could be. And you're going to start to see that people are going to realize, yeah, you know, this Republican thing and about my liberties and all this, but baby Jojo needs some shoes. Baby Pepto needs some Similac. I need some money. And you know, you've been bailing out all these corporations. You've been going to all these wars, spending all these trillions of dollars. You can give me some of my tax money back. This is how America's starting to think. This is how America's looking at the game. And I don't necessarily think this is a necessarily bad thing because we've had corporate welfare for decades. Decades during the last recession, corporate America got bailouts. The auto worker, auto, auto uh, makers got bailed out. Banks got bailed out. They got billions and trillions of dollars. And the American people like, hey, it's about time I got some of that money. America is cranky right now. Cranky America. America's pissed off. America's just like, because like I said, go ahead and go to Facebook and look at the number of stimulus check update groups. These groups, some of these groups have 200, 300,000 members. They've only been around for a few months. Americans are like, hey, give me some stimulus checks, give me some stimulus money, I'm ready. Put it in my bank account, man. Give me, my, where my check? So, welcome to Socialism 101. We're gonna be there. And this is going to change the elections because let's say the Democrats get the Senate and the presidency. You can expect a very generous and you can expect something that looks, looks and feels and tastes like so universal basic income. It's going to be coming because see the Democrats understand America more than I do. It's like America, I know you need a check. I'm Nancy Pelosi and I, I want to give you a check. I'm Chuck Schumer. I want to give you a check. And America's like, really? America's like a dog. You know how you have a dog and the dog's ears go to that certain side when they're like, R -r 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 really? Okay. Give me that check. And you know, the national deficit is going to explode. We're going to live today and we're going to mortgage tomorrow. This is a crazy, crazy thing that's about to happen because mark my words. Now, if Trump and the GOP Senate manage to stay in power, none of this is going to happen. None of this. But I don't think they can because, you know, Trump, who had like Teflon abilities trump who had the ability to defy gravity to walk on water scandal after scandal after scandal scandals that would have sunk one one of trump's scandals would have sunk obama it'd been the end of obama just one scandal after scandal after scandal impeachment eh, don't matter but for now he's starting to lose some of his super power superpowers because they didn't come out to that, that rally. They didn't come out to neither rally the way that he thought they would. Because of the Rona, man. And also, with the Rona, state opening, state closing. State opening, state closing. This is going to be a really pivotal month. Um, we're going to see what's going to happen because the Rona is surging in like 27 states. And the other day, we had 50,000 people newly infected. And it's been the young folks. It's been the folks out there protesting George Floyd, Ray Sharp Brooks. What? What? It's wrong. I'm going to protest. I'm going to be out here. George Floyd, George Floyd. So it's the young people who are getting the Rona. And this is one of the reasons that the death rate has not jumped up because it's mostly the younger folks who've been out here at these protests. 
This is, you know, and then there's folks going out to the restaurants. And there was a video of this club that was elbow to elbow. They were up in the club like, what, what Rona? Rona? Who's Rona? There ain't no Rona up in here. Big Booty Betty up in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I see you, Big Betty. I see you, Big Booty I see you, I see you. I want to touch you. That's what's going on. And America's like acting like there ain't no Rona, there's no pandemic, there's no infection, which is going to create more infections. And it's going to create more situations where states may have to shut down again, which is going to create a more bad economy, which is going to create more of a urgent outcry for stimulus checks and universal basic income. It, it's it's going to be real, y'all. It's going to be beyond real. So this is Lyndon Cameron, your hustling godfather, reporting, letting you know what I feel is about to come. Put down your opinions, what you think in the comments. Let me know what you think is going to happen, because I feel that America's about to turn a corner because we've been looking at Europe. We've been looking at all of these European countries who have these socialist policies in, in, in play. And their unemployment isn't high as ours. Their infection rate isn't high as ours. And we're like, hey, little socialism ain't so bad. Yeah, give me a check. Give me a check. Give me a check. All right, so that's all I got for y'all. Check out this next video.